Hello, hello, hello. So, this is like <laughs> the third or fourth or maybe even fifth time I've tried to do this. Uh, things keep going south, but nonetheless, this is the uh, this is the spotlight on the seven base OPPAI armor and clothing replacer. Now, this is the one done by Wickwa, um, ported over by Wickwa. Um, it includes replacements for all outfits, well, almost all outfits in the base game and the DLCs. What is not included, there's a note down here, Miner's Outfit is not included. I don't know why the Miner's Outfit is not included, but it's not included. That's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> so this is a port that they got permission to do. They've edited some things to make sure that it will fit within uh, uh, the TOS for Bethesda. And uh, it's a pretty big mod, 479.41 megabytes, which is basically about 480 megabytes. So it's pretty big, pretty good size. Um, I turned off some of the other armors and stuff I had on so that I would be able to fit this in without any trouble. And... Um, this is Hope. She's our new Hope. And she has a little bit of everything in her bags. And she can show us what this mod has to offer. We're starting her out in Ozadel's armor. Let me just back up a little bit so that you can see there. That's enough to be able to see the boots and everything. You'll be able to see if there's some clipping and stuff. Um, so this is Ozadel's armor or Ozzy Doll's armor. Now this is um, TBBP enabled so you'll see a little bit of that if you walk around in it. I'm not going to do this for every outfit. I'm just showing you that it is there. Um, now if we look, not every outfit that I made has the uh, has the boots and gloves but this is the Archmage outfit. And this is going to be very similar to Morgan Helsing's version of this. Um, there might be slight differences that I either don't remember or just don't see without having looked at that one recently. But all these outfits are seem seem very good to me. Now, Wikwa did mention that this was fitted to their version of the 7 base OPPAI body, which I have not played with yet, and I'm going to do a show on that as well. But I haven't got there yet, and you know how it goes. Sometimes it takes time. So, I don't want to go through anything too fast, but I don't think there's any surprises here. I think this is what you expect. Some of these are only like that's only a color change so no point going through too much there this is the bear armor I think they did a nice job on this and I guess the credit goes to the original monitor uh, though uh, Wickwa did a good job pouring it over for us obviously because it looks good I don't see any issues with it myself and you know how the robes are. All the robes are pretty much the same. Probably not going to spend too much time on all the different robes. Now the blacksmith apron, there's two different ones. Depends on which one you like. It's pretty much the same though. It's just the apron and that's it. Which is entertaining and funny at the same time to me. But I may have a bad sense of humor. Sure. So the Blades outfit, I like this Blades outfit. It's it's more of a Blades bikini, I know, but uh, it's pretty good. So now we have the blue robes, which really aren't drastically different from the black robes. As you can see, pretty much the same thing. We have Bone Mold, mold Armor, which they at least tried to do something nice with the Bone Mold Armor. And it is pretty good, and you'll find that the, this is this and Morrigan Helsing's port 
Uh, both do a pretty good job with bone mold armor and they're about the only ones that do much with it in my opinion um, though this is still I don't know it just looks like you're trying to halfway mummify yourself or you're wrapping diapers around yourself I don't know I just never got the bone mold armor just never looked good this is a good version of it here but it just never looked as good as you would think it should Pardon me. Now there is some robes. I mean, uh, they're brown robes, but I want you to notice the boots. These are like the tavern winch boots, but they have extended them so that they're longer. But they have an odd, I don't know, it's like they've just extended them without really... Um, they really didn't remake the boot. I think they just added the top and moved it up or something like that not complaining I couldn't do that so this is the chef's tunic it's similar to the barmaid's clothes this is the chitin armor this is the light version which is pretty good and then the heavy armor Alright, so, then we have some different clothes, let's get rid of these gauntlets and boots so that you can appreciate the clothes. We have some different clothes, it's not going to be anything amazingly different. Um, these look to be pretty similar to what we've seen before. Yeah, you'll see that's just a different color variation. And that's just another color variation. And that's another color variation of the other. So there's really not that many different things um, to see in the game. It's just they did some different color variations of things, which was fun. There's college boots and other college boots, and they're slightly different. There's robes. Now these are the robes that you've seen in my game before when I was using Morrigan Helsing's version of this mod. And I'm not saying that to be in any way disrespectful to Wikwa. I mean, I'm just saying you've seen this before. Um, there might be a, you know, if you compare the two, and I've, I've not done that, and I probably am not going to be able to sit down and really go through and compare the two in a really good way. If you did, uh, you might see some differences. I don't know how much or what those differences would be. I like the cuffed boots. But... We're just going to do the robes, so here's the cultist look. But um, there's probably some difference. You know, everybody has their things that they like and dislike, you know. there are, Those are, must be heels. They're clipping into the floor. That's going to happen sometimes. It's not the first time we've ever seen it happen. Dark Brotherhood, and this is the, you know, the, the cloth outfit, which always looks a bit odd, but it looks pretty good in this in this mod and this is the dark brotherhood light armor now this is not an unusual version of this armor it, it's just a good looking version of it i think that's why it shows up in multiple mods looking very similar this is a great version of the daedric and i'm glad that they kept that in this version of the mod i just think that's really the best daedric looking armor now I like the way they did their Dawn Guard armor in this too, because the heavy armor you'll see it has the shoulders, and and it has some good stuff to it. And then the second version is really just a recolor, so that's fine. I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. Then when you get to the light ones, it's not too different. They drop that off the shoulders, you know, trying to make it look a little lighter. And then, in the second one, they changed it up. And it's not symmetrical. You notice there's only one shoulder thing. But it is symmetrical in other ways as far as covering the, the uh, big things there. 
Um, but overall, it's it's pretty good, and you'll notice they're still clipping into the floor. There's only a few mods. Every now and then I see a mod that does not have clipping into the floor, and I try to point that out for you. And this is a slightly different light version of the Dawn Guard armor. Let's see. So let's go to the Dragon Plate. We have boots and gauntlets. And this, I, I'm pretty sure that this is basically the same version. Dragon scale. Now this one, I'm not sure if this is different or not. Because it has that dragon-like necklace on the top. Which is pretty cool with the red eyes. So I don't remember seeing that before, but it may be in Morgan Helsing's mod too. And I just don't remember it would be easy enough for me to forget so just pointing that out there is it's something a little different you'll notice now we're not clipping because I guess anytime they're not doing heels they're not clipping that's the way it seems so we have Dwarven and I used to have a character that was wearing this for a while that's pretty cool and then there's Ebony. This is nice. I don't think this is really vastly different, so that's why I'm not I'm not stopping and spending a lot of time on everything. I do like the Ebony male because it's got kind of a scale male look to it. You see that? I really like that look. I think that's very nice. There should be more armors like that. For males and females, that would look really cool. That's the Elven. Let's see. Now you won't see. I, I never can see any difference between the Elven and the Gilded Elven. So I'm just telling you, I don't see any difference. If you see anything, you can always let me know. Um, the Elven Light Armor will be different. It's significantly different, which is it's kind of nice if you're going to have a light and a normal. These are embellished robes. Now these basically look like painted on robes. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's what they look like. on. So then we have the embroidered garment, and there's a couple of versions of this, but this is nice. It's a good version. We have fine clothes, and there's two versions of this. There's this brown one, and then there's this gray one, which is mainly just a recolor of the same outfit. So. Then we have fine raiment. Now this is basically a recolor of the previous one we looked at. So I'm not going to do much with that. This is a fur trim cloaked. It's basically a painted on type of thing. Then we have the glass armor. And it looks good. Again, it looks uh, it looks very similar to what you see in the other. This is the green robes. I just put on the gloves for fun so you could see what it would look like with some gloves. This is the gray robes. Now, what's a little different is the uh, graybeard robes. It's more of a, I don't know, more of a very short dress or almost like a little sleeping shirt or something. Um, we get to the Guildmaster armor. This is like the uh, well, Guildmaster armor for the Thieves Guild. So, it's like the dark armor. Hide armor, and they decided not to be symmetrical at the 
shoulder and at the knee. I don't remember that, but I don't use hide very often, so. Now these are hooded robes. They're still very similar to the other robes. They're just hooded, so I'm just going to flip through these. Uh, there's nothing surprising about this. Alright, so red robe, which is really white, but it has a red stripe and a red hood. Then we have the Imperial, and this is what you'll see, what is it, Lieutenant Ricky or Ricky or whatever. A little clipping there, um, definitely clipping into the floor. So, let's see, so then we have the Imperial Light. And I'm glad they kept this. This looks really good. I, I think this looks a little down on the legs. There's a little clipping and stuff. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the other version to see if that's if it has the same issues. But overall, regardless, I do like this version of this armor. It looks cool. Let's see now. Then we have some final bone mold stuff, which I'm not overly impressed with the bone mold, even though this is the better. This is the better mod as far as bone mold go, goes. Now here we have iron, and the iron is very well done. If you like that, which I think. Probably a lot of people do. And then we have the jesters. This is pretty standard for the jester. And then we got the leather armor, boots, and bracers here. And it is kind of similar to the iron in a way, if you know what I mean. Now this doesn't have, it does have a little clipping. I was going to say maybe it doesn't have so much clipping, but... Okay, so now we have mage hoods, and I'm going to throw on the mantle college robes, and let's just take these off for a minute. Now let's see if we can find a mage hood that kind of makes sense, and see if we think that one goes with it a little more. So I'm not that big on the hoods, so I'm just going to let that roll. There is another mantle college robe. It's just a recolor, really. But this gives you an idea of what the mantled college robes will look like. And then you have merchant clothes, and there's a couple of versions. But they're basically just a recolor of one another. Then we have Mirax, which I don't think this is going to surprise you. I think this is going to look basically the same. It's got heels and the feet are clipping into the floor a little. But overall, that's very nice. And then the light, I think the light is basically the same. It's just light armor instead of cloth. You have the mourner's clothes. Which this is similar to some of the other things we've seen. So then we have Nightingale, and I can tell you that the Nightingale is the same for both of those that I had in my bag. And they have the little short cape, which I don't like, but it could be worse. I'm not a big fan of the, the little Nightingale cape. If you do the hood, you'll notice it changes her hair color which is, I guess, okay, except 
I wish it didn't, but it does. So, let's see. The next thing we have is noble clothes. These are like the painted on robes. So, alright. So, I didn't see anything really different there compared to some of the others. This is Nocturnal's clothes. And I think there might have been some transparency here where they were saying they had uh, fixed some things so it wouldn't be so transparent because there are some versions of these that are transparent. Now, this is different from Morgan Helsing's who in her mod, this is a really tiny, tiny outfit. It's really short and tiny. Uh, instead of, this looks a little more normalized, I'll say, even though that's probably the wrong word to use, but still. That's a very nice look. Now these... These are from the Creation Club, but they follow the same uh, shape or mesh as the vanilla. And this is the Orc. Then we have the Sigic. The Sigic looks pretty cool. It's got its own style. Then we have the red robes, which we've we've kind of looked at. We have the refined tunic, which again is similar to one of the others we've looked at. This is the Savior's Hide. Which, if you are lucky enough to still have immersive winches and use that, some of those girls will use this. Um, I think it's mainly the, is it the Forgotten Ones? I think it's mainly the Forgotten Ones. This is Scaled Armor. Again, not symmetrical. went the wrong way, sorry about that. And this is the horn armor, which isn't really significantly different. So we're going to move on past that. That's a mod, don't worry about that. Now we have the skull clothing, or you can do the light, they're both the same. I'm just going to do the light. And it looks like that without their little hat, which you can use their little hat, but I didn't do that. Um, it actually looks pretty good. I've, I've seen that, and that looks nice. Um, the star rim heavy. Then you have the light. Which the light follows a different pattern as far as how it's shaped. So we're going to try to do, I don't have the steel armor, I have plate. Huh, hold on. Oh, wrong way. Let's go make a steel armor. I don't know how I missed that. And I'm sure it was just an accident. Probably, oh, probably because there's so much stuff in steel, I probably just missed it. But we'll go down to steel armor. Here we go. Um, we'll just make the one. We'll make both of them. It won't hurt anything. So, you notice she's clipping through the back of that. I could change her hair, but for the purposes of this, I'm not going to. So, anyway, so we do steel armor. And that is without... I don't know. It's still not symmetrical. She's got the big shield arm there kind of thing. And then this is the other version. 